Just admit it and say, you know what, I don't want to know. Instead of arguing with people all day long because you're not going to listen. You didn't come to listen. You come to argue. You come to argue with the Hebrew Israelites and, and, and you come to argue with other nations of people because this is the folly of man. Okay? In the scriptures, the Mosai say, do not have abhor an Edomite. He said, do not hate the other nations. The Mosai said that he hate the other nations. I'm going to say it to y'all again for those who are very slow. The Mosai said, do not abhor the other nations of people. All other nations of people. The Mosai hates other nations of people. The main thing, the Mosai hates wicked people, period. I don't think y'all heard what I said. The Mosai hates wicked people, period. Me as a brother... I focus on the righteous of mankind. I don't focus on just my people or my nations of people. Because why? Because you can have people in my nations of people who are wicked. You know them by their fruit. Understand me. I'm going to say it to you again. You know them by their fruit. People. The most high in the scriptures in the 611 KJV Apocrypha. He only said it's, one na it's only two nations of people who will not... Who will not N O T, and I gotta say it like this because because people are slow, people do not listen. They do not listen. All they do is react of their emotions. They don't listen first. The Most High says only two nations of people who would not make it into the kingdom or the congregation of the Most High. I'm gonna say it to you again. He said it's only two nations of people who will not make it into the congregation of the Most High. That is the Ammonites. That is Moab and Ammon. That is the Moabites and the Ammonites. It's Japanese and Chinese. Okay? Now, go find out why he say that. Don't take my word for it. I could be lying. Study. Find out for yourself. Who's not? Most of Esau have perpetual hate on us. Yes, they do. Most of Esau has perpetual hate and they're against us. Yes, they do. Our people has hatred too. We are not put here to be... Or have hatred. We are put here to save souls. Understand that. That's number one. Number one. Also, it's made for us to accept those who follow the laws and the words of the Most High and know their place. It's scriptures that say that, man. So, to everybody who's watching this video, what I'm saying to y'all. I'm of the righteous. I'm not of just my brothers. I'm not of just of the other nations. I'm of the righteous. You understand what I'm saying? And nobody can't debunk that. But the Mosai said himself, two thirds of our people will be put to death, and the wicked nations of the other nations, the other the wicked people of the other nations will be put to death. And the righteous ones that's under that's with the other nations will be under us in prophecy. Why? Because the 12 tribes of Israel are the original children. The Hebrew Israelites are the original children of mankind. Every nation come through that birth. Every nation has come through Noah, which is an actual Hebrew Israelite. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith and truth. And shalom to the hopefully elect. Shalom to the elect. So anyway, uh, this video uh, popped up. Uh, I guess because I try to, I kind of go into these particular type videos, so it, it'll pull up in my thumbnail. And this guy here. He now, well, I don't know what group he's with. He's kind of got a GOCC slash Wi-Fi slash IUIC. I don't know. He's got a multiple forms of, of a spirit of an Israelite, but all different, you know, forms. But this is mostly a GOCC type doctrine. But then he says the Ammonites and the Moabites, they're the only ones that can come into the king, the congregation when I was speaking specifically of that, because of that particular situation, 
but uh, Israel was separate. That's why he said you're a holy people. Leviticus 20 and 24, I've severed you from other people, right? So I think he's quoting Nehemiah 13 and 1 or something like that. So um, uh, it's a couple things this guy said that this doesn't make sense. And we'll prove it according to the scriptures. Um, he said that God hates, but we're not supposed to. Now, you got to think that when we went to war, when David uh, uh, fought the Philistines and which we had our bouts with the Philistines, the Ammonites, you know, and other nations, Edomites, and so forth. I guess in his mind, we were still supposed to not have hatred. We were just supposed to love them while we was going to war. <laughs> what Exodus 15 and 3 says, the Lord is a man of war. And he, we're made in, the, in his image, you know, especially the Israelites. So, Yahweh even came on the earth and said, follow after me. To you know, And that's what our focus is on, reaching souls, no doubt. Live peaceably amongst all men, no doubt. But, you know, he's made a separation between wicked and good, a uh, good and wicked. When we also know that our people are wicked, so you separate yourself from them. And Edom is wicked right so the elect is going to be preserved out of all wickedness right so you separate you separate yourself from all of it but to say that Edom is going to make it and only the Ammonites and Moabites this man did just say that so let's go to um, Malachi 1 and 4 where is Edom there's many scriptures on this Whereas Edom say, if we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they sh and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation, right, forever. So now we got to look up this word indignation and see what this, we know it can't be nothing good. I um, mean, in the in the likes of this particular verse, indignation, anger aroused by something unjust, unworthy, or mean. Right. Um, it says rage and fury, stresses, uh, righteous anger, at what uh, and what one considers unfair, mean, and shameful is likely to suggest a desire or intent to punish or get revenge. So this same man says, basically, he's kind of adopted a Christian feel to it too, that you're not supposed to hate. Now, when he finds out his wife or woman or whoever he has does whatever he does on her, I wonder if it's still all, well, she does on him, I wonder if it's still all love. I wonder if a guy comes in, break in his house and steal all his information and all the things he has that you're not allowed to hate somebody that behaves in that, that manner, right? This is crazy, you know, because in order for us to get where we need to be, we, we're going to have that emotion. Yahweh said he was even jealous. You going to tell me we're not jealous? We're not going to have these emotions. We're not going to have anger. Right? Now, the scripture says anger rests in the bosom of fools in Ecclesiastes 7. So we're not supposed to walk around angry all day at the people and the world. But, yeah, we have indignation. And uh, we are going to remember what this man has done to us. Seems like these guys are always trying to save Edom. Hate means intense hostility usually derising from fear, anger, or sense of injury, right? Extreme dislike. Um, let me go on it down here. Is this, 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 to feel extreme amenity toward, to regard, act of hostility. So this is why you put up blessings and you put up curses, right? This is why you do that. You're not surely going to curse somebody that you love, I don't think that works like that. 
Let's get another scripture. Amos 3 and 1. Hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? I had to read that too. Right? There is no way you're going to walk with Edom unless you agree in with Edom. There's no way we can even walk with other Israelite groups that teach like this if we don't agree. We can't walk together. This is why you see the IUIC and IUBK riff because they don't agree. But we all have one thing in common. You know, the judgment of Edom is coming. Right? The judgment is Edo. It's coming. Jeremiah 30 and 16. He said the nations, they can walk with us. and Yeah, they're going to serve. But let's see what the scripture says. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries. All thine adversaries. Not just the Ammonites and the Moabites. Every one of them shall go into captivity. See, he's probably got a, a so-called white friend white girlfriend who knows wife this is what happened when that the case had he had a japanese wife he would have flipped it around in see the most high will allow you to flip flip the story flip the parable or flip whatever you want to flip to make it fit your doctrine everything he just said in there of the lord hates and we're not to and such and such and the other nations can make it except the ammonites and the moabites he just, he just pulled that out. It says, And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for prey. So now he might say, this is just talking about individuals, certain people. Let's go to Job 34. I didn't have that up. There's so many scriptures on this topic. It's unreal that this man is even speaking like this. It says, Job 34, 29, when he give it quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him? Meaning when he hides himself from you, you can't be saved, right? Yeah, I mean, when he hides your face from you, you just take him for a prey. Okay, you can't behold him. It says, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. So the nations, with an S, of Israel, was taken for a prey, was taken for a spoil. The Lord hid his eyes from us. Now all of a sudden, and this is the, the weird, sick part. Now all of a sudden, judgment is coming back to Edom and the other nations. Wait a minute. Now we're not supposed to feel a certain way. Now we got to wait. Uh, uh, the Lord, of course, we're going to wait on the Lord. But now it's only the Lord. Now it's only Moab and Ammon. Not even this whole video for him was about saving Edom. I don't know what's wrong with Jake, you know, but there's something something going on with Jake that he can't help himself. Let's go to Psalms 139 and um, 139 and 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. Am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them as mine enemies. Now, when you go to 2 Ezra 6, he said he counted other nations as a drop that fallen from a vessel. So we are spiritual people. We are the head nations on the earth. Why isn't everybody, why shouldn't we be thinking in a superiority mindset? Not this guy. Search me, O Yahweh. And know my heart, try me and my thoughts, right? And see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. So you're going to have different forms of wickedness on the earth. But then you got uh, Hebrews 12, I believe 17, where it says he sold his birthright for one morsel of meat. He is a profane man. He's outside the temple. So wait a minute, why is this guy still saying that he basically loves, or he, it, oh, 
let's go here. Not abhor Edomite. I, we've been over this so many times. Let's see what this say. It says, thou shalt not abhor Edomite. So let's see. We could show you several clerical errors in the Bible. Hebrews 13, I believe 4 is 1. When it says, I'm the Lord uh, from Egypt, right? When the original translation says, who brought you out of Egypt. And these black conscience guys are running with it. I may do a video on that. But um, it says Edomite here, H-130, Edomi, Edomi. Strong's H-130, Edomi, Edomi. And it goes on to say. Just below that, Edom, Edom. Yep, now why did it say that? Now it says C-8726. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Strong's H726. Aromim. Aromim. And the form just below that. Adomi. Adomi. So you can see there was there was some problems going on, right? Now, when you read here, it says Aromi, a clerical error for H130 in Edomite. So in that text, it was a clerical error, an Arab, Aramite, it says he is Syrian, right? So that word was the Syrian, H-130. It's simple. You can look that up. He tells everybody to study. Well, we are studying, and we have been studying. Let's go to Hebrews 8. Let's go to Hebrews 8 real quick, close this out. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. What happened to Edom? You can also read Obadiah 1 and 18. It says, Edom shall be a stubble, right? Now, according, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant and regarded them not, regarded them not saith the Lord. For this... For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them to their heart. Wait, wait a minute. What happened to everybody else? And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Wait, wait a minute again. Where's everybody else? Where's everybody else fitting this criteria, fitting this doctrine, fitting this prophecy? You don't see it. So clearly... We are to walk in the statues that the Heavenly Father set us up to walk in, as Proverbs 20, 24 say. He set us up to walk in the statues that he set us up to walk in. Right? Now, we don't go around being belligerent and acting like a damn fool, but we know who our enemy is. And for this, and let me say this real quick before I close. For all the stuff that you see done today, our women, the food, Right? The media, the earth, the animals, the families. You see, all this happened, and on the left hand side was set up to bring all this hell and judgment. We also go to Ephesians 6 and says, put on the armor of the Most High. How would you do that if you don't believe people of other nations aren't that way? This is crazy that this man thinks like this. There's one nation who have made, put, put out so much pure corruption and have destroyed the children of Israel. Although the Lord set it up on the left hand side. But look what happened. And he set it up for us to feel that pain, man. Now we're going to feel the pain and Edom is going to get away. Well, Daniel 7, 18 says the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. I wonder how that's going to happen. I guess we're going to sit down and slice a piece of cake and drink some tea and then take it. <laughs> That's all I have on that shallow one.